In this episode, we will look at what software you need to install before starting to program in Java. And first, we need to download and install Java. And here we have two options. We can either download and use Oracle's Java SE, or we can download and use the Open JDK. They both work the same, it's just that the licensing between the two is a little bit different. And if we want to install Java, the easiest way of uh, finding it is to open a web browser and search for Java SE download. And we can see here, uh, it is suggested right away, but we will search for it just to see that the one that we are looking for, if it's not showing up for you, is the one from Oracle Technology Network. So Java SE download. So if you just click that, and then here on the top, we can see the version of Java, and this is the latest version. So when you download it, it might be a little bit different uh, than the version that I have at the moment. But, so this is the latest version when I am downloading it. And what we need to do is to go to Oracle JDK download. And here on this page, you will find the download for different platforms. So for example, if you have Mac OS, this is the one that you should download. But I think most of you want the Windows installer, and that is this one here. So what you need to do is go over and download this file, and when it's finished downloading, uh, run it and install Java. Now that we have installed Java, it's time to install an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE for short. There are many to choose from, ranging from simple text editors to very capable, specialized uh, software. And we will be using an IDE called IntelliJ IDEA from a company called JetBrains. And to install IntelliJ, we are gonna go about it the same way as we did with Java. We are gonna search for IntelliJ download. Um, and what shows up here, uh, often in the top, is a link to download IntelliJ. And here, when we are greeted with the download page, it is important to check your operating system. So if you're on Windows, select Windows. If you're on Mac OS, select Mac OS, of course. If it's not selected automatically for you. But I do recommend that you double check that you get your, your operating system. And then we have two different versions here. We have Ultimate and Community. And for our needs, the community edition is enough. So I do recommend you to use the community edition. It is free of charge, as we can see here below it. Um, there is also the ultimate edition, which has a 30 days free trial. But after that, it, you have to pay for it. Um, so I do recommend the community edition. But if you want to try the Ultimate Edition, you can actually do that for free too, beyond those 30 days, if you are a student. So to do that, what you do is you search for uh, JetBrains, or JetBrain, JetBrains uh, Student License. And there's the link, Free Educational Licenses. And you can go in here and you can read about it. Uh, and you can then click apply now. And if you apply with your official university email, um, you will be able to use the ultimate edition for free. 